So do you know the difference between Allah yeah. and Allahumma? So who was the first people before Adam and Eve? But God is a Christian God in the Christian world. Christian, so, I mean, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. The, in their world, yeah. they would say God, God is, is, yeah. I, God yeah. is no, God. No, no, I agree with They you. wouldn't say, if you ask them what does God mean, yeah. they wouldn't say Allah. Tells you, never hurt kids, never do this, never, uh, tells you certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's classed as the non-believer. There's only one Allah and it doesn't say anywhere in any... Okay, so, so I'm gonna ask this question, right? So my name is Iman, um, I come from a Muslim background. Okay. How about yourself? Yeah, nice to meet you, Iman. Um, my name is Saken. Um, I come from a Muslim background as well, funnily, but um, now on Wolf Sabbat, yeah. So that's like the culture that I practice now. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the difference when you say culture, yeah. you come from Muslim, what's the... Because culture and religion are two different things, aren't they? Would you say so? Because most cultures will have a religion as part of their culture. Um, I would say, I would say different from, for okay. example, my background, I come from, as I grew up as a Muslim. Yeah. Um, and a lot of stuff was done based on culture. I'd, yeah. Growing up, I'd, I got told religion this, religion that, yeah. but it was mostly culture. Right. The last five years, I found religion and it's obviously helped my life a lot. Right. So when you say culture, what would, be, would you say is your culture? My, I'm from Bangladeshi origin, okay, an Asian community. Right. So, just for example, I'll give you a prime example. Yeah. So, in a, for in culture, if you marry someone not your culture, yeah, it's a big thing. Like if, you, if I marry, I don't know, I'm married to a white person, but if yeah. I was to marry a white person, black person, but then it's a big, it's a big that people have a lot to talk about. Do you know right. what I'm trying to say? I hear you. But in religion, obviously, it's been you have an Islamic background. Background. Yeah. You know, Islam doesn't say who you can't marry and who you can't. Who, who you cannot, well, in terms of if they convert well that's it you that's, just said it if yeah, they convert, convert yes right so you couldn't marry someone that wasn't a muslim or converted yes to that's in, correct in Islam. that's correct um when i say culture i'm saying like for example you will have your origins where you come from yeah like you just said bangladesh yeah. or whatever yeah. And um, Islam would be more from an Arabic or an Arabian culture yeah, yeah. because obviously who yes. the Prophet Muhammad was yeah. uh, as an Arabian and so forth. And then you'd have like, say, um, if you were from, I don't know, Korea or Asian, yeah. some part of Asian, that would yeah. be like, you could be a Sikh, you could, you know what yeah, I mean? You could yeah, have different, different yeah. culture, yeah. like, you know, what the, the Sikh were there. Yeah. Turbans, turbans and yeah. stuff like that that they identifies their culture yeah. whereas with um and then let's say the european as mm. you said you, mm. you're married to one yeah they 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 don't really have a culture i would say but no, i agree yeah but they kind of pick bits and pieces bits from, from other people's places, culture yeah. whereas if you look at africans yeah um or people say black people mm. a lot of them don't really know what their culture is because if they've mm. accepted, say, an Arabian religion, yes, they will like, like you say, you're right. In the religion of Islam, there's things that are culture that have also been embedded in there. Where it'll be like, say, the Hadith said this, or you you do this, like how you would prepare to pray and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Where you, you can't really find some of the stuff in the Quran saying that. Yes. So but it will be passed down as traditions yes, yes. from the culture. No, I agree. Yeah. So for Africans, we say Wu Sabat is our original way of life yeah. because with your culture comes like what's your language? Yeah. What do you what language yeah. do you speak? Yeah. What do you eat? What foods do you eat? Yeah. Um, yeah. How do you deal with things like marriage and, yeah. you know, that kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. So, so what, what is your thoughts of, obviously, your confirmation? What's the first one to ask? What's that? Is that a cross? What, this here? Yeah. No, this is, in our culture, is referred to as an Ankh Tui. Ankh Tui. Yeah. So, because that's what I'm saying. In our language, Tui okay. means yeah. two. Yeah. And you can see, like, most people are familiar with this symbol. Yes, yeah, so that's more which, cultural. Which they will say okay. is an Ankh. Yeah which relates to the ancient Egyptian culture. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but this is two of them. Okay. But it, it's a symbol, so it has many meanings and okay. many, like, breakdowns for what it is. But simply, it's not a cross. Yeah. Um, the cross was taken from something called the Tau, the T-A-U. Yeah. Which, which looks like a T. Yeah. And then, um, you know, like, when you look at what the cross is with, like, say, Jesus on the cross. Yeah. You see, like, a head. Yeah. And then the, on, on top of that yeah, T. Yeah. And that 
was grafted from the ankh, which ankh. is that one. Okay. And that became what people use as a cross. Okay. But this has two of them together. Okay. That's why it's so called what's your, two. What's your, sorry, what's your thoughts? See, like we say, we're talking about crosses and obviously Christianity and yeah. stuff, crosses and stuff. Yeah. What's your, I mean, what's, what's your religion? Would you say, obviously, we talk about culture. From yeah. me looking at you now, you're culturic. Yeah, We'd that's be, what, that's our culture. Yeah, you're yeah. culturic. Yeah. And yeah. I, like, we've not got into religion. I've not asked you what religion you are. It's yeah. more culturic, which is understandable. So yeah. if someone was to ask you, are you religious? Yeah. It depends on what the person asking the questions understand or means by are you religious. Do you believe in God? No, in the sense that this is again, I haven't answered the first question, I will. <laughs> but when you say believe, yeah. this is what religion does. Yeah. Religions always ask you to believe like in something or okay. someone. Okay. And we don't deal with belief mm. because we're like, why do I need to believe in? someone or some god or something yeah yeah so okay. what we do is we deal with actual facts okay. yeah um and as you say culture to us is like preceding religion okay yeah so our culture will be our way of life so facts what you say yeah and um we have studied religion and when i say i don't believe it doesn't mean that i haven't got knowledge of what okay your calling religion no, it's fine. but in our culture the closest thing to what you're asking me we would say we're animist animist yeah that would be the closest thing if you had to use okay. the term religion religion we would say we're animist animist so and an animist you know what an animist is the tough way yeah. yeah so an animist is somebody that um deals with nature mm. so like how things naturally happen yeah and they give respect and reverence to nature because they understand that everything comes from nature okay. and everything returns to nature. Okay. And so like the sun is a part of nature. So, yeah. so but you, would you say you're, obviously you said you go by facts. So sci scientific facts and stuff, that's what you like. Yeah, every fact, depend, every every, no matter what you're talking about. Okay, facts. You try so, to deal with, what, do you know why? Because the word belief can be dangerous okay. because in religion, that's what happens. Like mm. Christian believes this, mm. a Muslims believe, Muslim believes this. Okay. Uh, a Jew believes this. They okay. have different beliefs, yeah, and they have conflicts based on their beliefs. But because each one thinks yeah. that they, what they believe is the right or the correct way. But if you follow the right, I tell you. So we obviously we've established you go by facts and mm -hmm. everything straight. So yeah, the Quran was written many, 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 many years ago. Right? How many years ago? I think it was like fourteen hundred years ago. Many years That's ago. That's correct. Yeah. Fourteen hundred years ago. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. So. I'll give you one interesting fact recently found by scientists okay. that men wearing gold, they can become infertile okay. due to gold particles. Now, this was written in a Quran found by a man who can't read or write, allegedly. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's one fact there. Yeah. There's many other facts about the embryo. Like this found scientists, okay. there's a lot more. Mm -hmm. So this was written in a book, like I said, 1400 years ago. Scientists are only finding this out now. Right. Okay. So, so what I'm trying to say yeah. is impossible like if the Quran was made up, but like you said, there's a lot of conflicts with religions. He's right, she's yeah. right, this is right. But these facts have been written in a book for, like many years ago. And the mm. scientists are only finding out that now. Okay. So what would you say in terms of what, what would you say in terms of that? What's your thoughts on that? Yeah. Um. Like I said, you said many years ago, and you said fourteen hundred yeah. years ago. Fourteen hundred years ago is not that far back. Yeah. Because scientists have found things going back millions of years ago yeah 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 so the point is that um if you study how the quran came about or what's written in the quran mm. there are many things you'll find in the quran that were written in other books before the quran that yeah. predate the quran yeah so yeah? L let me just finish so in terms of like you're talking about gold mm. etc you can go back even to the torah or to the mm. the books before the mm. quran where mm. it's talking about gold mm. and and so on and so forth so you can find something out today that to you might be new or that you've just it's something that's been discovered mm. by the scientists mm. but you can also go back many many years yeah. before that and find out that other cultures or like civilizations mm. also were talking about yeah. the same the same thing so yeah. it's not really that um unique as such yeah okay. and i did not say you said I said that the Quran was made up or something. I no, no, I didn't mean, I didn't yeah. mean that. No, I'm not saying you did it. So yeah. I'm just saying in general public, people will think, yeah. like, oh, because you see the pub. For me and you, we don't yeah. like, for someone that doesn't know, they'll be like, all right, they, they don't know any, any different, do they? Yeah. So 
to the point when you said obviously it was there's so many um obviously different like christianity bible yeah but in islam we'll see we believe in moses we believe in uh, jesus yeah. mm -hmm. and we believe there's one god right and the belief is obviously these messages there was already always written but there's okay. always different things i can give you 13 different scientific about like people found out yeah. right now that's yeah. probably a couple of them aren't or in the like bible like it's, as time's gone on things have come yeah some things aren't in the bible some things aren't in the um the Torah, they call it, is it? Yeah. Is it well, well, yeah. The Torah is the what they call the five books of Moses. Five books. So that. But was, you're right yeah. that um, who's the father of the religion of Islam? So there's only we got Allah. We only we, there's only one creator. We say no, no. I know. I don't. I'm not talking about like I'm saying like you said. Um, Muslim believe in the in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. So and, you've got the message of God. Yeah. Yeah, because Abraham would be the father. Of yeah. many nations because yeah. if you look at the the family yeah it will go back to abraham but, as being the patriarch yeah so yeah. we abraham's a prophet i believe from my understanding yeah um abraham's a prophet but if for example like you said about these prophets and stuff so jesus we believe is it's a, a prophet, prophet as well, as well. Yeah. but one thing this is an interesting thing i'd like to ask you so in um a lot of people i see um they class jesus is god or mm. jesus is this but Jesus didn't, has never classed him as God. In some of the pipe, like in the original manuscripts of the Bible, yeah. he, he says, obviously, worship a God. And in, it was Jesus' first language, Aramaic, right? Um, them days it was Aramaic. No, again, this is what I'm trying to yeah. say. Like, so Hebrew is Aramaic. It's yeah. just a, a Aramaic Hebrew. That's where yeah. it comes yeah. from. But um, when you, this is what I'm saying. Like, when you start to talk about the titles and the name mm, like you said mm. jesus being god it depends on what word you're using mm. for god yeah you see what i mean because if you're using because in the bible when people are reading it they just go god 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 mm. all the way throughout mm. but in the actual language as in aramic hebrew um, yeah. it'll be elohim or adonai or el shaddai or yeah. i mean there's yeah. different words yeah so what it is is people misconstrue what yeah. he means by using the term being a god yeah. Because in the Bible, it says you are God. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. In, in Exodus 7, 1, if you go to Psalms 82, 6. Which Bible? Because the Bible's been changed numerous all, times. All, 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 there's no original scripture today, not even the Quran. In the Quran, the Quran yeah. there's many petrols from the Quran. There's, uh, many no, what I'm saying is there's no original Quran, there's no original Bible, there's no original Torah today. But if you look at the manuscripts of the Quran from the earliest dated back, there's still like, it's in the museum in Turkey, there's one in Turkey. Yeah, yeah, I know, I've there's, studied. Yeah, yeah. So, like you say, you know, yeah. So it's yeah. always, if you go back to that one in Turkey and it's all, it's all the same. Whereas, it's not, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is one of the problems because you do have different versions of the Quran. So, but so what would you say is different? When you say version, what do you mean? Like the Arabic is different. What's that? Well, I mean, it's still like, teaching the Quran. No, no, no. That's God. what I'm saying. It's like, it's the, it's the same with the Bible, right? Yeah. Like, that's what I was trying to explain. Yeah. Like, when you're reading in English, it just says God, 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 God. Mm. But when you go to the language where it's translated from, mm. it might say, for example, Yahuwah. Yeah. Which gets translated Yeshua, into, uh, into English as Jehovah. Jehovah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the same as you just said, Yeshua, yeah. which gets translated Jesus. into Jesus. Yeah. But in the original language, there's no J's or V's in the Is that the Aramic Bible Hebrew. you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it, with the Quran now, yeah. you have the Arabic, mm. where you had classical Arabic, yeah. which is different from the original Arabic, because there were no vowels. Yeah. Because the whole... The whole system of Tajweed, mm. right, which introduced vowels, yeah. like Tamobuta and, you know, all of these Arabic... Oh, okay, you mean the long and just short? No, no, I'm the... saying that, so the, the vowels and the, the grammar changes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because if you don't study or know the Arabic... Have you studied Arabic? Yeah, when I was younger, yeah. okay. so, this is, so what I'm trying to tell you, when I was young, obviously I grew up in a Muslim household. Yeah. Um, and eventually, I, to be fair, I more repented against religion. I went, I, I went the other way. What's the other way? So I went in a bad path. So I, I okay. did because I was yeah. So yeah. I went on a bad path and stuff. I did. I went. I was an interest as a kid. Yeah. You want to play this and that and do certain jumps you know then. And yeah. this is where my culture come into it. Like, oh, you need to do this. You need to play. And I don't know if I'd really. I didn't enjoy myself. I didn't think so. So later in my years, I say last ten years, eight years or so, I've been yeah. really like. I've been really studying, like trying to just get my head around it. And it's like, like I, said, I respect every religion, whoever mm. you are. But for me. The teachings of the Quran, it helps me in my life. I yeah. have so much peace now. Like, I mean, there's so many, like, I believe whatever religion and culture you are, you need discipline. Okay. You know what I'm trying to say? Discipline. Yeah. And 
I did. I mean, I've. But I'm saying discipline can be nothing to do with religion. Because there are people that go to the gym every day, they, they're disciplined, they eat certain foods and they, <coughs> they, you know, maybe fast and meditate and they're not religious. It's just they're disciplined enough to get up and do that but, every day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying is sometimes the natural things that people would do, mm. they will attribute to the religion or to say like the God of that religion. Yeah. But the biggest difference between, I think what we're saying so mm. far mm. is that belief uh, it's based on a belief system mm. and it's like each belief or and it ties into the religion they'll mm. be like okay we're muslims so we believe in the quran mm. so we believe the words that are in the quran mm. and we believe those words come from allah mm. and then obviously you have different sects of muslims mm. who are going to believe different things so we've got the the Shiite, Shia, the Sufis, Sunnis, Ahmadiyya, yeah. Nation yeah. of Islam, yeah. Yeah. Ansarullah. Yeah. And you can, it's the same when you go to Christianity, where yeah. they do the same thing. Seventh-day Adventist, Jehovah Witness, yeah. Protestant. It's all different things. Right. Think, and, but they all say they believe in the same thing. Mm. So, but then they will argue and fight each other yeah, over this, this is what, so, religion. Yeah, yeah. So this, yeah. Is, I agree with you. So this is the thing. There should be one religion. I mean, if I, like, I'm Sunni, so right. I follow Sunni. So, you know, when you said the thing about discipline and stuff. Yeah. So, for example, as I, in Christianity, I'm not going to be correct if I'm wrong. Are you allowed, I mean, they drink, you're allowed to drink wine and stuff, aren't you? Um, are you allowed to drink in Christianity? I'm, I'm, I'm not a Christian. Yeah. But, yeah, they, they say that because, obviously, they say Jesus turned water into wine. But he, did, and... he didn't drink. He doesn't, so does it say anything about drinking? But anyway, carry on with your point. Yeah, so what so, I'm trying to say, yeah. so drink, again, for the discipline. So what I'm trying to say, yeah. in terms of discipline, now, in Islam, it, there's a reason why. Back many, many, many years ago, you was allowed to drink in Islam. Right. Many years ago. But then God found what we, from my knowledge... But you see, when you say many years ago, is that before the Quran or after the Quran? This was when, I think this was when the Quran was sent, I think, I believe. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, like yeah. I said, well, I know yeah. for a fact, but I don't know. Before the Quran or after, I'll be telling, I'll be, I won't be telling... Right. I won't be telling... Because right. again... Mm. People do misquote the Quran yeah. by using the traditions and like yes. hadiths and certain yeah, things no. that were passed down. No, you're absolutely and right. And if I say to them, tell me where it says in no, the Quran, yeah, yeah. you can... No, no, you're absolutely you know I mean? right. No, yeah. you're absolutely right. So whether it's the hadith, either way, yeah. in, it's in the sort of bigger sort of circle. Yeah. So it was what people used to be drink, but then they found out, obviously, when you people get drunk, they get intoxicated, but some bad right. stuff Right, see, now you've just said it. In the Quran, what it actually says, you should not be intoxicated. Intoxicated, yes. Not that you should not drink percent. yeah yeah so yeah? yeah but i want to ask you a quick question and i'll let you carry on. on do you know the difference between the sunnah and being a sunni no tell me okay so this is where the sunnah is the way the prophet muhammad did things did things yeah, yeah. so people say if you follow the sunnah mm. you're following and doing the things the way the prophet muhammad did yes it. now sunnis yeah try to say because the name Sunni kind of sounds or ties into yeah. the Sunnah yeah. that they are following the Sunnah yeah. but then they, a lot of them follow a lot of the Hadiths yes. and not the Sunnah yes, yes? yes. and so when you do, good point you just made about being intoxicant mm. being intoxicated yeah, yeah. that's what it says yeah, yeah. but then people have to say what yeah drinking alcohol is being intoxicated yeah and even smoking cigarettes yeah, is yeah. intoxicated yeah. Yeah. so Th that don't take it, not you, but they take it from being intoxicated yeah. to just li kind of limit it to, like, yeah, yeah, okay, don't yeah. drink alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's important. To, no, no, yeah, no, I definitely know. agree. So, obviously, it says there's a reason why, yeah. obviously, you shouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah. And, obviously, there's people, obviously, in terms of, you, I, see, I know I've got friends that are, obviously, Christian, they go to church and that. Yeah. And then they'll, obviously, have a drink and that. And then, obviously, you hear the next day they're hangover or, yeah. some, or you hear stories. There's, obviously, people got do bad stuff on it and stuff. Yeah. But if you but are, is it because of the drink? Would you say? Well, yeah, hundred percent. Not I, necessarily, because there are lots of people that drink that don't go no, and no, do bad things. Yeah, but no, you're absolutely right. Some people can have a drink, but it's like I said, drink after a long period of time, yeah, or anything, yeah. drugs, it can have an effect on your mind. So That's if, right. if I have a drink now with you, I yeah. don't like, I don't drink it. Look, I I'm don't saying. drink. Either. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. drunk before, yeah. and I've done. You know what I'm saying I've committed sin before, but it did me no good. And yeah. this, I, for, for I think I'm, we're in agreement in yeah. terms of what you're saying, like. But the thing is, when you deal with facts yeah. and not because it's a religion, no. we can say, yeah, yeah. Um, alcohol is an intoxicant, it's yeah. not good for you. Yeah, it's personal Especially experience. when you take it to excess. Yes. Because, like we say, like, in the scriptures, yeah. you can drink wine or have yeah. a glass of wine yeah. or yeah. do you know what I mean? Because it, it's, 
it, when you get drunk, yep. that's when it becomes uh, interesting, out of control. Yeah, interesting fact, I'll tell you. I see. Um, yeah. This is what um, about the whole drink thing. So I was listening to Mofty Mink. Yeah. Um, so someone asked him, like, obviously, I think they were in Australia. They had this, I don't know, they had this drink or something. They had a certain percent of um, alcohol in it. Yeah. It's not going to get you drunk or something. And they asked, is it permissible yeah. to drink something? He, he said to them, obviously, as long as it doesn't get you drunk and intoxicated, mm. then there's no problem. Mm. Back to the point what you just said. Yeah. Intoxicated is That's the main, right. main key thing. Exactly. So. But the thing is as well, like, let me ask you a question then, because... Belief mm. or religions, they have you confined to what I say like mm. a box, yeah? Yeah. Because not everything is in the Quran that, yeah. that you see in real life. No, yeah. So if the Quran doesn't say something or doesn't yeah. guide you, yeah. what do you do then? Because you still have to use your own, own initiative. Your own initiative. Own initiative. You see what I mean? Yeah. And there are many things that many years ago would have made sense yeah but depending on where you are where yeah. you live yeah it might not make sense yes like for example the weather yeah that's natural nature yeah, yeah of course. if you live in a hot country mm. you can dress a certain way yeah you can um, wear certain clothes yeah and this is where i'm saying about when people say they're following the sunnah yeah if yeah. muhammad dressed in a particular way yeah because it was a hot country yeah and he could wear like a loose cotton gown yeah but now you're in the west and yeah it's snowing and it's freezing and it's cold. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you no, can't. No. No, I agree. So you have to adapt. Adapt. Yeah, no, it's religion. Like I said, religion. Yeah. A lot of people, like that's by my family and stuff. And like I said, the whole culture thing. They were ancient, ancient, and a lot of it was culture. And you have yeah. to adapt. But like I adapt. See my children. I adapt with this culture as well. Yeah. Um, in terms of following, you said um, the Sunnah. See me. I, I, I'm very adaptable. I follow Quran and stuff, but. I do things, and I've been I've been on the other side of things. So this mm. is from personal experience, and like yeah. I said, I respect all religions, but it works for me. Do you know what right. I'm saying? And this is what we say in all Sabbat. It's like we're not here to convert people or yeah. try to change mm. you. Mm. We're here to teach actual facts, yeah. give you the knowledge and the information, yeah. Yeah. which if if it subscribes to you and it will help you to develop to yeah. become, yeah. yeah, because we know that. We predate religion. Yeah. We even predate all those books yeah. as the original African yeah. culture on yeah. the planet. Yeah. So for us, it's not about... That's why I said there's a big difference for believing something. Yeah. And we don't say someone can't believe what they want. No, of course. All we say is like, when you deal with us mm. as, you know, um, Sabians or Sabians or mm. Luapians, like because we've studied religion mm. and we've studied most things... Mm. Um, we can present the facts. Yeah. Now, for some people, they can't accept or deal with the facts if yeah. it goes against their religion. Yeah. That's what I'm saying about being boxed in. Where, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So we have these conversations yeah. to kind of like hear people. Yeah. Like if you're asking me a question about my culture and what mm. we, mm. we'll give you the actual facts. Yeah. But if you're like, I'm a Muslim, I believe in the Quran, mm. this is my way and I'm no, happy with that, yeah. then it's like, good for you. Yeah, yeah, that's you what I mean? yeah, no, that's what It's so, like, no, exactly then, so the, way, the way I see things, yeah. um, and I say... But if you want to know yeah. what a bit more or yeah. go like, okay, like for example, you said the Quran's 1400 years old. Yeah. And I said, yeah, and... Uh, New Testament is 2,000 years old. Yeah. The Torah is 4,000 years yeah, old. Yeah, they go way back. Yeah. And then we go back to the other cultures like, yeah. like Hinduism, would, Hinduism mm. the Zuar text, the Mayans, yeah. the Sumerians, yeah. Yeah. the Egyptians. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Even the Dogons. Yeah. Like, there's so many other cultures, cultures yeah. that predate that. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, are you interested in knowing what came before? Because with religions, it's like they have this very limited view of like I said before, if I'm a, if I'm a Christian, you got to believe in the Bible, mm. go to you know church, yeah. and do as we do, yeah. or else you're an infidel or you're a yeah. heathen or you're, you know I mean? you're going to hell. Yeah. And then Muslims will say the same thing to the Christians. I mean, and the Mus and the Jews will say the same thing to the Muslims. A or real to the Muslim Christians. wouldn't like judge or say you're gonna go to hell if you do so. I mean, if you're if you're doing something bad, either way. A real Muslim yeah. would never like me as a Muslim. But, but I'm saying, what's a real Muslim? Because someone, the different sects are going to say they're the real Muslims. No, but it's, 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 all, all Muslims are the same. You never judge anyone. You, the, for me, this is how my personal opinion. My per, this is my personal opinion. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, if I do good, I live good. I don't harm anyone. I don't do anything. Obviously, I, but it's impossible to do that. How? How? You telling me you can be good all the time? 
I try to be my best version of no, me. No, no, but day. you can't be good all the time. T tell me one. Tell me one. In or, terms of or what is good and bad, shall I say? Good and bad. To okay, D to me, okay, bad is doing people wrong or getting intoxicated every time, not being home. Um, so would you say you've never done anybody any wrong, or you will never ever do no, anybody like in the any past, wrong again? In the in the past, I have sinned. Right. I'm not saying I've not done anything. Yeah. yeah. But now my life is since I've not been doing anything. The last months, I pray. I get out, pray five times a day. I go Friday gym. Well, my life's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's a, a Muslim's yeah. way of life. Yes. If they subscribe to that, yeah. Yeah. Which is fine because Islam, like I've said many times, is a beautiful religion. Mm for Muslims or for people who Personal want choice. to practice it properly. Yeah. But there are people who don't practice it properly, yeah. you know, that go around and interpret the Quran in their own way. That's wrong. So Right, but that's what I'm saying. But they, to them, they will say you're wrong. <laughs> no, but this I is what I'm saying. So, okay. so now okay. you have to go back to what's the, the barometer that you use to judge uh, who's doing right or wrong, who's okay. doing good or bad, yeah? Mm. And then you, that will go back to the Quran. Yeah. But in the Quran, mm. it explains who's going to Jannah yeah. and who's going to go... Yeah, to Hellfire. To Hellfire. Yeah. Right, now, who's the judge of, of who's going to Hell and who's going to God, Heaven? Let's... Right. So now, God is the judge. Yeah. So therefore, when I said to you about... You said you don't judge people, mm. but Allah does. He's the creator. He created us. Do you not feel like you just said now? Yeah. Of obviously, I mean, just a question. Who's the who's the fact like? How, what's he? What you your belief? Your culture now? Like, how does that fall God? Is there someone who found it? How? No, so that's how, what I'm trying to say. Like, what's about goes back before what you even call time? Time. Okay. Yeah. So it always existed. Okay. Because it's the culture that is based on traditional African spirituality. But when you say African, mm. now you have to go, how far back are we going? Africa, yeah. You go back to ancient, what people call Egypt, and even before that, yeah. to what they call pre-dynastic. And then we go back to all the way yeah. to tying into our ancestors. Yeah. yeah. So when you say is there one, this is where we say that even in the Bible and the Quran, people try to subscribe to saying there's only one God. Mm. But the actual language of the... Quran and the Bible doesn't say that. What does it, it say? It says there's many gods. There's what, more in than the Quran? one. God. Yeah. If you show me in the Quran now where it says there's more than one. That's what God. remember I asked you about yeah. do you speak or read Arabic? Yeah. So do you know the difference between Allah yeah. and Allahumma? Allahumma, no, tell me, tell me. Tell no, no, me. I'm asking so, you, do you, that, if you Allah, do, then that, uh, Allah, there won't Allah, be any... Masali, Allah, it's, that's like a, it's like a... Bible. No, I'm saying the word itself. No, no, tell me, tell and me. And even in the... In the temples, yeah, um, back in you know Muhammad's time, they had different statues. Yeah, that was a long day, I, right, I, which were considered to be different gods. Gods, yeah, yeah. So like this was, Alat, yeah, yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. um, the language can be a, a problem yeah. because having more than one god is is even in Islam they will say it's attributes of Allah. Like, uh, if you start going, I could, I could, yeah. uh, um, do you know what I mean? There's different words like. The Almighty, the Magnificent, so okay. Rahman, Rahim. So, so what? You're, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? know what you said. That, okay, so, so there's the, like ninety nine. If you're ninety nine names of Allah, yes, right. different, but it's only one. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So now this is where the complexity is. What you've just said yeah. there is Allahumma, and obviously all the names or the Almighty. Yeah. They're just like it's for example, I don't know, like you for example, I could say the Great One or the Master or yeah. like the but. I know I'm referring to you. Yeah. So it's only in the Quran. I know I can say that's a fact, and I can get a Quran out here, right? If you find me one, there only yeah. says only one God, one Allah. There's no. They might refer to Allah as the Almighty or the Creator. Right. But there's only one Allah, and it doesn't say anywhere in any. Okay. So so I'm gonna ask this question, right? When you say La ilaha illaha Allah, La ilaha illallah, illallah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? I couldn't possibly tell. If you get a thing in front of me, it's like a surah. Because like, I'm start, like I'm back to... Like, I'm no, no, I hear you're kind of getting back, back into it. Back in, go back But in. remember, I said to you at the beginning that yeah. we were... We studied Islam as yeah. we study everything. So what does it mean? You tell me. It, it, it literally translates as there is no God but Allah. Allah, okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then he says, have no other God but Allah. Allah, yeah, okay. Yeah? So it's like, if you think about that, why would you say have no other ones except Allah? Because if, there's, if there's only if there's only one, you've just answered your question yeah. there. So you know you said that before they used to have statues, they used to have all. This. So before time they used to believe in statues, all these other things. What you just said, so yeah. that's why the Quran. What you just said now, there's no. That's why we always say 
there's no God but Allah. So, so like you said, people used to pray to statues and stuff. That's the reason why. But they still do till this day. Some people. And yeah, some people do everything. Yeah. Like yeah, everyone. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah, to keep repeating that daily. Yeah. Like have no others but Allah. Allah. Yeah. It's like. Like I said before, if there's none to have, if there's no others to yeah. have, you wouldn't need to say yeah. that. Yeah, but this is what God, this is what, like you said, see... Even the fact that you keep using the word God, yeah. it's Allah and God the same thing. Yeah. No, it's not. God, it God, can't God, be. Tell me. Tell me because, why. because English is different from Arabic. Yeah, but it still, still means the same thing. If you say, in, in, in the, well, like I said, Jesus was the first language, obviously, when they were speaking, he used to refer to God as, in, like, illa. That's what he used to sound in the That's early... That's what I'm trying to say, like... Different languages have different would use different words. Words, yes. And when you translate from one to the other, yeah. it's not the same thing. Like so if I said, "What does Allah mean?" Yeah. In Arabic. Yeah. What would you say? God. It does. That's what I'm saying. What it does doesn't it mean? mean that. Look. It can't mean God because you're taking it from Arabic to English. Yeah, but it's just a language barrier. No, isn't it? It, it, if that's why I asked you if yeah. you studied Arabic, yeah. because Allah is two words put together. Yeah. Yeah. Al. Yeah. La. But what does it mean? The source. The, crea the creator, yeah? No, the source. The creator is al khalak al so, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's different words for what people are saying in English. And this is in all religion. But they see? refer to only as one person. We only yeah, but they mean different things. Like, if I said you're the tallest, yeah. and then another time I say you're the shortest... No, that's different things, yeah. Exactly, but that's what I'm saying. So the different words are actually translating as so different So what are you things. trying to say? You're saying God and Allah are two different things. Yeah, because God... It's, it's a word that came from German, from, yeah, God from a word so, called... The God, what would you say God means? That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Yeah. So if you came from German, that's where the word comes mm, from. Mm. It comes from the word good, good, yeah. or got, yeah. good, which is where it became God, because yeah. it's like G-O-O-D, which yeah. is like good. Yeah. If you go to German or go to Germany today and ask people, yeah. that's what they will say. Yeah. And then in, in um, say, Masonic, yeah. In, in masonry, they will say G O D mm. stands for Goma, yeah. Oz, and Dabar, yeah. which is wisdom, strength, and beauty. Yeah. Now, if you go to Arabic, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like Allah, meaning the source, yeah. cannot then translate to God because so it's a German word that comes from a, a completely different language. So when people say that Allah means God, I'm like, but. If you didn't know English or didn't speak English yeah. and you just dealt with Arabic and dealt with the yeah. Quran, yeah. you wouldn't be able to say that Allah means God. But there's so many, like you said about the, the language, it's all different languages, yeah. right? So some people... It's all different language, but they all come from one, as you say, one source. One source. And then got broken down into like today in English, people would translate the different words, yeah. like so, the Almighty. Yeah into God. Yeah. So, or, in, yeah. So yeah. what you just, you know what, you're absolutely right. So I agree with you. So when you said about, um, obviously Allah, God, whatever. so when I'm speaking to you in God, like, so as in, if I, from an Islamic person to an Islamic person, you always obviously talk about, they say God, Allah, whatever. But see, when you're talking to, I don't know, if I'm talking to an English person, whatever, yeah. I'd always say God, or if I'm talking to, I don't know, a different country. But, but, but God is a Christian God in the Christian world. Christian, I mean, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. The, in their world, yeah. they would say God, God is, yeah. I, God yeah. Is no, God. no, I agree with you. They wouldn't say if you ask them what does God mean, yeah. they wouldn't say Allah. Yeah. They wouldn't no, say no, God say means God, Allah. No, no, they wouldn't, they would just say God means God. Most, but, but then you say, where in the Bible yeah. are you getting that from? Yeah. And if they're dealing with the Old Testament, yeah. the first time they're going to come across that word God, it's going to be in Genesis. Yeah. Like the first line when it says, in the beginning, God yeah. created the heavens and the yeah, earth. Yeah. But then you say to them, but that's a translation mm. from the... Arabic yeah. Hebrew, as you yeah. said. And you say, what does it mean in Hebrew? Yeah. You're going to get, as you said, yeah. Elohim. Yeah. So it's two different, yeah. yeah. And then if you keep going, yeah. you're going to get like Yahweh. Like yeah. I said, it's different Yehovah. languages. Yeah. But they, they like the Arabic yeah. with the different, yeah. you know, um, when you say Arachman, Arahim, Arachman, Arahim, Arahim etc. Yeah. Different words yeah. describing yeah. Who you would say Allah? Yeah. So I mean, but the actual word in yeah. Islam in Arabic for it's, yeah. It's so the you source. know what? You're absolutely right. See, like I was telling you, was growing up. Obviously, yeah. we got told to. I read Arabic, the Quran, but for me, I was, it was just told to read and know. I didn't actually know what um obviously the meaning. Yeah. And do you know why? Because there's different Arabic. This is what I was trying to say to you. Like a person from Bangladesh, yeah. or a person from you know Pakistan, yeah. or they have different Arabics that they speak. 
What do you mean speak or written? Because I the, no, no, they speak. Speak, yeah. Within their culture, yes, yes, which is separate from the Arabic of the Quran. Yes. So when they study the Quran and study the Quranic Arabic, mm. it's different from their dialect Arabic. Yeah. But if you're not a person who speaks Arabic or know mm. the like. But it's translates, it translates to the same thing. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, what if, bit if you it... got like Urdu, there's different Arabic. No, yeah? no, no. I agree with that. But I'm saying the whole... So, for example, the messages, certain messages that yeah. says in the Quran. I mean, yeah, I really agree with you. Different cultures, maybe they might... The trans... Arabic is it's different. different. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But it's all the same message and the thing. People might... It's like Chinese whispers, isn't it? I say something to you, you say something, and it just yeah. goes on and that's on. That's exactly where it becomes. Exactly. Because become, yeah. the Chinese whispers confuses people. That's it. But if you read the Orient like the Manish, it's all the same messages. But like, that's... I believe that's... All right, let me make it simple, right? Oh. So, in English, if I did G-O-D, mm. yeah... And then I did G O D S, put an S at the end. Mm. Would it still be the same thing? No. Why? Because God is one and God's is two. Right. And that's how the Chinese whispers start. Exactly, yeah. And we can keep doing that with mm. different words, yeah. yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it might seem like a simple thing, but that one little S that you add it's to it. It's a big fatal. It's a big, big difference. fatal, yes. Right. So when you go back to the Arabic before all the, you know, the system, as I said, was introduced mm. um, and we, we have this in our books anyway mm. that explains like so people that go back and study the like mm. the Arabic mm. before this system was yeah. introduced will mm. see that oh it's slightly different and this is why people are kind but, of yeah, being no, a little I bit confused. You. But see yeah. what you just said there about the S and that but this is why it always says you know so why it says in um, religion like about say why the only there's only one believer in Allah why do they say that? Mm. So I think obviously you yeah, that, yeah. that's that's the reason why. So yeah. It's repeated, repeated, repeated. So for someone like me, growing up as a you know Muslim thing, obviously I was we would just get told to just do that, and I didn't really. I was just thinking, why am I doing? Why are you this? doing this? Why am I why doing do this? Five I want to go out play. Yeah, well, I want to go play. I'm not enjoying. I'm not enjoying this at all whatsoever. Yeah. Then as I get older, yeah, life humbles you down, and you realize that okay. Like, like, see, so you ask me certain questions, I'm like, no, tell me what it means. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Now, and that's good. That's, that's good, what... yeah, because I want to know myself. Yeah. If someone else asks me, like my son asked me, then I couldn't, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm on a learning thing myself. I'm yeah, on yeah, a journey yeah. myself. So it's really, really good. Yeah, that's but good. I would always say, like, I respect all religions, yeah. all cultures. And, and that's important because that's why I said to you about the different sects of, yeah. like, Islam, because some people are very... Not just Islam, even Christianity, yeah. Judaism. Yeah. They're very aggressive I in, see in defending what, yes, what they, they believe in. Believe in uh, exactly. To the point where they will blow up a building, kill yeah, people. You know, so this is the thing. So this is the main, the main thing I wanted to say. So what you said to me like, yeah. uh, about, it's obviously sometimes um, people use it to their advantage. Yeah. Um, and one of the, I think one of the surahs says, I get told a lot, Islam is a violent religion, this and that, so yeah. and so. Yeah. But then I say, if you go back, for example, the first the first Quran teaches you how to live and whatever. And like you said, it's a beautiful religion to the believers. It teaches you, if you want to study it, it's a beautiful mm. like you said. So it teaches you all of that. And then at the same time, it says, obviously, never attack women, never attack kids. Mm, mm. Defend yourselves at all times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then it says the non-believers part. Yeah. But then what, this, what people get confused about, and also there's another part of it as well, if they back down, then mm. you back down. Right. So another part of it... Um, you know, you just said... Um, it's peaceful and all of yeah. that, yeah. That's okay. Like the word Muslim. Mm. What do you What do you say the word Muslim mean? It's believer of God, Islam. See, this is again what I'm saying. Why to make this example? Yeah. Going back to yeah, what go, we we're go, saying go, go, about yeah. the language, yeah? yeah. That's what people are told it yeah. means, yeah. but that's not what it means if you study the Arabic, yeah. Because the root word of Muslim mm. is salam. Yeah. Which means peace. Yeah. The peaceful way or the way yeah, yeah. of the way of mm, peace. Mm. And when you study Arabic, Mu in yeah. front of Salam yeah. is one who is of peace. Yeah. So that's why you're yeah. supposed to be Mu Salam. Mu Salam. Say Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Right? Which means one who is of peace. Peace, yeah. So where you're saying the original way of life is yeah. supposed to be a peaceful, peaceful way yeah, of life. Yeah, of that's why you say I'm a Muslim. Yeah. But people who play around with the words will tell you it means a believer. Yeah, but you should never play about if any. This is where this. Yeah, is, but yeah. being a believer and being one of peace are yeah. two different things. Yeah, yeah. So you can have a conviction on something you believe so mm. strongly mm. that you will go to war. Yeah. Or, or like go. But to the yeah, but of 
of your belief. Yeah. But then you say, but if you're a Muslim and you're one of peace, and yeah. you said you should be one of peace, that's why I said yeah. it's a beautiful religion for those who practice it peace, yeah. as a peaceful way of life, yeah, yeah. No, which is what it's yeah, supposed so, so to be. My, my next point, exactly what you said. Yeah. So there's people out there, you see, um, obviously, the terrorists and stuff. So Islam doesn't condone that. So again, back to my point, I was trying to say, the main common denominator common people say about yeah. it says about frame stones to the non-believers and all of that so i'm sure you know about mm. it but what people don't go back and see it, t it tells you never hurt kids never do this never it tells you certain things yeah yeah yeah. that's classed as the non-believer now if you don't like if you believe in that like for me what would you if would you do you agree with someone i don't know St um, I don't know, killing children, women, refugees. No, of course no, of not. Course, no, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> is that a trick question? No, exactly. So like, this, is yeah. what, this is what God is right. saying is a non-believer. Right. It's, it's, it's strictly... But, but then what do you do about people who consider themselves to be Muslims yes. who do that? Yeah, exactly. So then, and not just Muslims, because I don't want to seem like no, I'm attacking... No, no, no. I'm not just... This is in religion. No, so where this is... Jews, yes. Christians, yes. and Muslims will do this. Yes. Where they fight against each other. Yes. Look what's going on yes. in Israel right now yeah. with Palestine yeah yeah do you know what I mean so this is exactly it's a very you were apps we hit it on the nail in the coffin so you yeah. get bad people and good people in all, in all religions, religions all walks of life, all walks of life. All, all you keep races. yourself to yourself yeah like, like I said wherever I like, if there is a God like I said anyone you my, sound like you're doubting it uh, no 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 I'm you just said, if there is a no, God no no I'm trying to tell you that yeah. to anyone else out there yeah. yeah like if you this is what I'm thinking I know I believe my, my beliefs and I've said that from the beginning yeah. and I respect yours yeah now as a non-believer if you wait for, if there is a God as long if you do good like you know there's a thing like they said enough you said non-believers will go to hell and stuff no and no I'm saying that's what the Quran, in Quran yeah yeah no no <laughs> I'm just saying I'm <laughs> yeah. just saying yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry yeah, yeah. um so as long as you do good, when I say good, like keep yourself to yourself, like you, you don't do any bad, harm people. Yeah, like, but remember I said to you, you can't do that. This is what religion does. What, but, what, you can't why be can't all you, good. Why can't you? Why because can't, because it's it's impossible for you to be only one side all the time. No, but if you, you have two sides. Yeah, there's two sides to you. But all right, what's, when I said you can't be good all the time, mm. if I ask you what you consider to be bad, yeah, would, like if I said it's killing bad, what would you say? So if I were to defend my family... If right, I, so you said if, it changes. The yeah, I wouldn't, if, I wouldn't kill one for no reason, no. Right, but you could kill, you said one, but you you can kill every day, and we all do, we kill every single day. How do we kill? Because you have to then define what you consider to be life. Life is, for example, like you said, life I consider me, you, in this life, as a right, human being. but there's different life forms on the planet. But I'm talking about human. And yeah, but why is it only applied to humans when it says thou shalt not kill? Yeah, but I'm just talking about humans. Like, okay, no, but I'm animals. trying to show you a point. Yeah, yeah, go on. When you said how do we kill every day, yeah? Yeah. There are life forms that are very tiny yeah. that we step on every day oh, the and animal. we kill. Yeah, but that's not intentional, is it? I didn't say it was. Yeah. But I'm saying we're still killing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even when you're driving down the yeah, motorway. Yeah, I could hit someone. I could you're hitting yeah. insects that you're killing. No, but I could hit, I could hit, yeah, yeah, but, I could hit a human. I know, but I'm just trying to say, you keep saying humans. Yeah. And I'm trying to say there are different life forms yeah. that we kill every day yeah. without knowing or unintentionally. You're but we're killing. Yeah, you're People absolutely. kill animals to eat yeah, for yeah. food. Yeah. So, and they justify it because they can say, it's because I need to eat that, yeah, yeah. No. that animal so I can kill it. No, <coughs> they're still I agree. killing. Yeah, any place like here, I agree with you, yeah. the killing thing. But the main thing we have to put is intentional or not. If I'm out there waking up in the morning, see the dog, see the cat, kill a cat, kill a dog, mm. if I see a spider, I stamp on it, or mm. if I see ant, that's a whole completely different. Scenario. Thing, so intentional. Inten yeah. in, intention in Islam as well. Intention, everything is here. So I'm not saying I'm never gonna I commit soon. I probably commit since the minute I walk out or the way it happens. The reason I say that because the Christians will say turn the other cheek. Yeah. Yeah. So if someone slaps you, yeah, you turn the other cheek for them to slap. Yeah. And this breeds <coughs> ignorance because it makes you feel like because you're religion, mm. religious, mm. you shouldn't defend yourself. <coughs> but yeah. like you say, it depends on the situation or that's the it. circumstance because yeah. you can kill in self-defense yeah and that's because somebody was trying to kill you yeah exactly but, but in that situation one would say that's okay yeah because it's in self-defense yeah. that's why i say you yeah. can't just say i'm going to be good all the time yeah. because there will be situations no, be, no, no, exactly. or times where you will be tested no yeah and that's where the intentions come in as long as right. you've got a good heart this is what i mean as long as you've got a good heart so let's go back to what you just said good and bad yeah so as they're going to if you if you have the right, if you have a clean, pure heart, have the right intentions, mm. 
then I and believe... And you live according to a peaceful way of life. Yeah, yeah, peaceful yeah. life. Like you said, you respect... That. Again, let's go back to the other thing that you said. You've got different parts, like the Sufis, the Sunnis. So, yeah. you know, I see some posts on social media and stuff, like people saying to these Sufis, that you're not religious, you're not a real mm. Muslim. And I don't agree with that. I, I, I think you're not... You're, you can't be judging people. Mm. Like, I'm the most... Like, see, I've got tattoos and everything. I get judged all the time. Because mm. the, the thing, remember I told you, I've you, got raised, you, I yeah. repent, and I went against it. Yeah. But then I realised why I did certain things. Right. But these people judging, I think... You, God didn't say to judge. Whether mm, they really, the, you're not in a position to judge, judge, yeah, judge yes. anybody. So yeah. when I look at things like that, and again to the non-believer, if you don't believe anything, as long as you do like have a pure... You see, when you say non-believer, yeah. you're talking about me. No, I'm talking about... No, no, I hear what, hear what I'm saying. Okay. I know what you mean. Yeah. Because to say only the believers, it's only the people that believe as you believe. No. So, so if you're a non-believer, or okay, define what you mean so by I'm being a non-believer. If, if you don't believe in anything. So if you don't have a culture... Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If I, don't, if I deal with facts and yeah. I deal with knowing, yeah. that means I don't believe anything. What do you mean you don't... When you say you deal with facts... So when you yeah. said about the facts and that, obviously... Yeah, I, I mean things that you can substantiate, things that you can prove, yeah, yeah, things no. that there's evidence for. Yeah, yeah. Now, so, if I'm a person that say, I don't believe anything, I want to know, yeah. give me the facts, then going by your definition, I'm a non-believer. No, but I can give you about 14, 15 different facts from the Quran that scientists have just found out now. Right now, I can give you right Yeah, but now. I would accept that because yeah. I deal with facts. Facts, yeah, exactly. Right, so, so, but I don't deal with the belief. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying you're, the term non-believer yeah. is very limiting yeah. okay. because anyone who doesn't believe... No, okay, you're, okay, yeah, no, mean, I agree You can you. say you're, so, oh, yeah, you're so, a non-believer, so, so anyone, you're going yeah. to hell because yeah, yeah, you're to a anyone. So, okay, let's right. broaden it. You're absolutely right. You've yeah. taught me something as well. So to anyone... Yeah. Who obviously is unsure of anything like you go with fight. So as long as actually as long as you have a good heart, yeah. pure intention, culture, religion, yeah. Jewish, Christian, Hindu, when you die, then I, create. Oh, I'm, now I'm saying as any. I'm not going to say <laughs> no. If, it's, not, it's fine because when you say again, we can go into the creator and all yeah, that. Yeah. But the main, this is what I'm saying. Wu Sabat deals with if you took let's say the actual facts mm. and the the word good is a bit subjective as well. Yeah, yeah. What's good to one person is not good <coughs> to someone good, else. Exactly, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, in terms of the Quran, what mm. the original essence of the mm. message, mm. which is the same message that Jesus was teaching. Because mm. yeah. when Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. Yeah, it's called the injil Jesus was given. Wasn't right. It? Yeah. In, that's what obviously Muslims would say, the injil. But I'm saying, mm. like, he said, the peacemakers. Mm. The peacemakers are Muslim. Yeah, the yeah. Muslims. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He said, blessed are the peacemakers. Mm. And when you when he greeted the people, what did he say? Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you, yeah. And translate that into Islam, what you're saying? What's that the What does what how would you say peace be unto you in, in Arabic? Um, I'm not too sure how you say it. Assalamu alaikum. As -salamu alaikum. As greetings, you mean? Yeah, yeah, peace be Okay, yeah, salam Yeah, remember the word salam means yeah. peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As salam yeah. alaikum. Yeah, peace, yeah. Peace, peace be unto, unto you. Him. Yes, and yes. And you yes, would yes. respond, yeah. wa alaikum as salam. Yes, yes. Which means, yes. and yeah. peace be unto no. you. Yeah, no. That's what I'm saying. If you're dealing with a peaceful way, yeah. we're in agreement. Yeah, but, but when it goes outside of that, now, based on belief, I believe you, because you don't believe as me, I'm going to blow you up. Yeah. But this That's is not a real person. Christian. Yeah, but this is not real. You get bad, like I said to you, you get bad aspects. See, like you've taught me stuff there and I've probably told you yeah, some, some information. Some stuff, so, yeah. so this is a very learning um, platform. Learning and this, problem. Is, and yeah. this is what I see me. If anyone, I always take information and I'm very respectful. Yeah. Again, that's what I say. If anyone else out there, if you like, if you have a, that's all that matters, I think. If you have a clean heart, pure intentions. But that's subjective, you see, because the people that are wicked and will say, they got a clean heart. How can you? Be, how can you be wicked? Because because they can say, "What's your I term believe, of wicked?" But this is what I'm saying is very subjective. Mm. Because like you say, yeah, um, you could do wicked things, and you're asking me, "What do I think to be wicked?" We are speaking about murder. Okay, if I like, stole something, if I if okay, yeah, go on. Uh, I don't know. You left your cross, so your. Unk, your unk, unk, sorry, your yeah. your, unk. Best friend, you, your, your unk. You're not familiar with it. So <laughs> yeah, so, unk. Yeah. Unk so unk you left your unk there, right? Yeah. And I took it. Yeah. yeah. Now, would you class that as wicked? It depends why you took it. This is what I'm saying. We okay. don't just go, oh, you took it. But okay, I took I'll it. have to know the intention, okay, the it. reason okay. why yeah, did yeah, you yeah. take it. I took it, it to fund if drugs. If you stole it. Yeah, yeah I stole it to fund, yeah. for my drug habit. Yeah, so that's, I wouldn't consider that. It's not wicked, but... 
it's a bad thing because you're Why not would being it? honest. You're being dishonest. Yes, yeah, so dishonest. Yeah. So what's your class? What's, what times comes wicked to you? All right. What is wicked to me is the things we've gone through as an African race, mm. that the things we go through by like, you know what I mean? Like slavery, yes. police brutality, mm. rapes, mm. murders, killings, you know what I mean? And, okay. that, and that different people That's, do yeah, yeah, those okay. things. Let's yeah? go, okay, let's right. say this. Let's go by the, the slavery, the brutality and all of that yeah. stuff now. For example, if we Which, you... mind you, a lot of it was based on religion because it, like the slave trade was originally from was, Arabs as it well was, as... Yeah, the, yeah, no, no, I agree. With, well I Indian agree. That this, is, yeah. this is why I don't... See, again, like, yeah. see with the stuff going on in Palestine and stuff, Arab, if Arab, this, is my, this is my personal opinion. I look yeah. back at things. Because like I said, I'm, on a, I'm finding religious yeah. again myself. Your, your way, yeah. We got Mecca, everything in Saudi, right? Yeah. So if Palestine, I see children dying and everything. So why are they just sitting still there? But that's what I'm saying about religion creates these wars because you, you have um, Jews... Mm supposedly, mm. bombing. Right, they're doing both things, but you don't know. You but don't, that's what I'm saying. Both of them are doing wrong because they're don't. killing each other yeah, over a religion, over land yeah, as well, exactly, yeah. which doesn't belong to even either of them. That's it, but you don't, you don't know exactly. We don't know what's what. But more, back to the point of the um, wicked and the clean-hearted thing. Yeah. So slavery, do you, obviously, how can you, if I want to find someone, but if I was to buy a slave or, I don't know, rapes or something like that, and, and I can't go around and say I've got a clean heart. But that's what I'm saying, okay? And there may be things you don't know, right? But, you know when you take your shahada yeah. and you become a Muslim? Yeah. Do you know what name you're given? What that, the name that every Muslim's given when they take their shahada? What they're given? I've never had my shahada because I've grown up okay. Muslim, yeah. Right. You're calling Abdullah. Yeah. That's the name, Abdullah. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what Abdullah means? Go on, tell me. Slave of Allah. Okay, yeah. So Allah has slaves. Yeah, yeah. So we are, we in, got, yeah. In that yeah. respect, yeah? Yeah. Now, to have a slave and then the way you treat the slave, yeah. it's a bad thing. And yeah. I'm saying religion and in, in religion, yeah. people that take on that name may not even realise that they slavery. say... Slavery, okay. They so, deal so, okay. with slavery. Slave, and, yeah, slavery, and, point, yeah. So go on. Sorry, Corey. So, okay, let's go on to rape. Yeah. Okay. If I rape someone, yeah. um, would, you, would you say that's wicked? Of course. That's wicked, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I because you're, you're forcing and going to someone some, against their, their own, own will. In, in so will now, I can't go around there. This is what I'm trying to say. Let's talk about clean heart and stuff. Yeah. I can't go around saying I'm clean hearted and rape people. Of course. So, that, that, so that, we're, that, we're in agreement, agreement. with that. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what I'm trying to say in terms, yeah. of, in terms of doing stuff. And again, I, everyone, def, like you said, everyone has different definitions of wicked. Mm. So from, if you, like you said, if you stop doing all of that, it's a good sort of, do you know what I'm saying? Listen, if everybody was practising the original way of what they're calling their religions today. Yeah, yeah. Because, like you said, whether you want to say Jesus mm. was a prophet, yeah. Muhammad, yeah. they all taught the message of peace. Yeah. That's why I gave you yeah. Jesus saying, blessed yeah. are the peacemakers. Yeah. Yeah. And he says, you know, mm. go in peace, mm. sin no more. Yeah. When yeah. You, you know what I mean? And the same with Islam, is yeah. the Muslim, the yeah. peaceful Muslim, way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But today, mm. the religions of today are yeah. man-made. And they have taken these original ways yeah. and perverted them, and they're now doing things for their that own benefit. It's yeah. not following what yeah. they no, call I, yeah, the no, words. Yeah, we're both of, in an agreement. This yeah. is what happened. They're following the, the words of men and the opinions of men. Yeah, or doing they're of, trying to they're trying to justify their reasons. Like yeah. see, when you see these terroristic innocent people doing that, it's horrible, nasty stuff, and it doesn't say anywhere to do that. Um, like if 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 Allah is the most powerful, mm. right? Because that's what they say, yeah. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, Allahu Akbar. We, we, what does that mean? Do you, know? you said the most powerful. You just said. <laughs> <laughs> but I say it because of the English. So they say the greatest, yeah. the power, the most powerful, yeah, yeah, etc. Yeah. He's got the ability to take care of his own problems. Yeah, like he, he can get rid of the terrorists like that. He can get rid of whoever you think you need to go and do the work of yeah. Allah for. Yeah. Like you're a man, you're yeah. gonna strap a bomb yeah. and go and blow up people. Yeah. yeah. And say you're doing it so you yeah, can be a mortar yeah. and go to heaven. Yeah, that's you know wrong. I mean? So they took that, like I said, they took, To heaven. Yeah, they took, But Allah doesn't need you to fight his no, battles. No, you don't. No, you don't. It doesn't. Yeah, you yeah. don't. But again, this is where we are with everything. It's all, everything's taken. Like so you said, a lot of things, like people do things for their own benefit. Yeah. To man, benefit made, them. man made. Man made. Man made beneficial. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly and, what And that's what's happening now yeah. where you, like you say, you have. The problems. People that are saying. They're using religion as a tool, yeah. but really they have their, own, their own agenda. Agenda. Yes. Yes. So yeah. that, that's where we are. But yeah. 
Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. But religion is a way that it motivates people, isn't it? Because yeah. Yeah. if you think you're doing it for your creator, there's no greater motivation no, for you I've to but, go and yeah. kill and no, do no, just wicked, wicked things. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like I said, so for me... So true Muslims mm. are people of peace. Peace, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no exactly. like I said to you, growing up, I was, like I said, I only got told this and I'm only I'm on a learning curve yeah. myself, understanding certain meanings. That's why you're telling me certain things yeah. and I'm learning it. It's coming back to me, but I'm learning it. So I, I think this yeah, is Yeah, yeah, it's about, it's about studying. Studying. Um, and that's what we did yeah. in terms of being taught Islam. Yeah. The history, yeah. the language, yeah. how it came about, yeah. and when you know the information, you're not going by just belief because no. a lot of people like you mm. are born into it. Yes, right. So they're born into a family, and they kind of just practice That's and follow. It. I didn't the, know nothing. I, I knew certain, family yeah, I knew certain things, yeah. but. Certain things I didn't. I used to be like, well, like I said to you, I've drunk before. I've committed yeah, sins, yeah. this and that. But now I know. Going through a personal experience in That's life, your journey now. My, it's my journey, my relationship. Studying, I would yeah. never judge. See, when I told you, I see people like Sunnis telling Sufis or that I'm, you're not rumors with this. Like, yeah. I said that you can't judge anyone. Your, your well, relationship. Let's talk about that, about that. Mm. Do you know what Sufi is about or Sufism? I, I, br I brief, I briefly knew they they believe basically um, there's a following of. Um, Muhammad's obviously his, um, I think his friends he was with, mm -hmm. um, and then the, his son. They wanted to give the prophecy to his. Um, well, you're talking uh, about the caliphship, or not? That's not. No, 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 no. I'm talking about basically the Sufi. They they got divided, didn't they? Okay. No, the the Sufi mm. or Sufism deals with the actual spiritual elements of Islam. Yeah. yeah. So they were the ones who would do the like the practices of following the the true way. Yeah. And and so. They don't really get involved with like the, like the different sects mm, mm. because Sufism deals with the spiritual aspect mm, of it. Mm. So anyone from any of the sects can practice Sufism. Mm, mm, mm. But they, what they've tried to do is segregate them as if they are kind of a different thing. Yeah, and yeah. then, you know, yeah. they don't like them or fight yeah, against them. But in every religion, you will have those who deal with the actual spiritual elements yeah, of yeah, it. Mm. And in... Christianity, that would be like the Essenes, yeah. because John the Baptist and even Jesus, was mm. he was a part of that order, yeah. where they deal with the spiritual aspect, where yeah. they, you know, they, they would do the chanting, yeah. the meditation, yeah. they do all the things that mm. are spiritual, not just the dogmas, yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean, I just wear the robes, wear yeah, the, no, the rings no. and the oils, no. and no. do you know what I mean, and then you just... Like yeah. you say, but you're wicked in your heart because yeah. you're not really dealing with the spirituality. Yeah, you, yeah no, of definitely. It. I mean, like you yeah. said, either way, you shouldn't you shouldn't judge anyone. Whatever you're, is that your your relationship with is with God, and yeah. that's your only relation. Like how this person's doing, if this person's doing incorrectly, like this yeah. is what this is like. This that's why I say you can't really follow a book because if you're following your heart and doing like what you know mm. to be right and like you say, treating if, people the way you want to be treated. If it treated, works for me, if it works for you. That's, that's cool. But when you have a book that then tells you mm. if you don't do this mm. or if you do this, yeah. then you're going to be judged or you're going yeah. to hell, then it kind of limits you because the minute you don't agree with something in that book. Mm. But I done then a lot what? of what you just said there. A lot of those I don't, you shouldn't do. I mm. done probably 99.9% .9 of all those you shouldn't do. So yeah. I'm, and and yeah. most people do until they realise that My, yeah. it's about you. Yeah. You're the real, yeah. you might find it's hard to swallow, but yeah. you're the real Allah. You're your own God. Yeah, but because, I, because you make the decisions for you. But I believe someone created me. Someone yeah, but, but see, we can go someone into that. Yeah. Who go, created you? Huh? It goes my mum and dad. It goes back and back, back right. and back. You see, you didn't say Allah, but even though some people will yeah, say who who Allah. Yeah, but who created my mum and dad? Who, it goes back Their to Adam. Their mum and dad. Yeah, but it goes, when does it go back to? This is what I'm saying. You're <laughs> saying it goes back to Adam. Adam and Eve, yeah. Because the book tells you that. But who, who okay, you go back. Because it doesn't go to Adam. And, and, and even if it did go to Adam, it doesn't even make sense because it's telling you that the woman came after Adam. And that the woman was created from Adam. So you go by facts, right? Yeah. So the fact is, a woman came before. So who do you go back? Who do? You, how far back do you go by facts? Who's the person? It, how far do you want to go back? How far can you go back? We can go <laughs> back as far as you want to go back. I'm That's not, what I'm trying to yeah. say. Like, do you actually believe that a woman comes from a man, or do you believe that a man comes from a woman? 
But it's a matter of everything comes from the it comes from the woman, doesn't it? Right, but that's not what the Bible and the Quran says. So what the, they what say, it, Adam was created first, yeah, and then his rib was taken to create a woman, yeah. But that's, that, that, that doesn't make sense. So I'm so what I've just said there, I'm talking about in general now. So if we're going back back to the first creators, Adam yeah, and that's Eve. what I'm saying. So but yeah. who's these first creators that you're calling Adam and Eve? So I'm I'm saying that Allah created God. Well, to, to anyone else who don't obviously believe in love, created Adam and Eve. So how yeah, but that's you, what I'm saying. You're only saying that because the book tells you that. But how do, who do, how do you know he but has I'm a, saying if you, if you use actual facts. Yeah, what's that? All right, actual facts. The Quran's only 1,400 years old. Yeah. So before it was written in the Quran, yeah. it was written elsewhere. Uh, Bible. Bible okay. believe, but before the, it was the Bible and then it was... But, but listen to this. The Bible, which you're calling the Bible, you're talking about the Old Testament or the New Testament? The, whatever does... The original New Testament, whatever it was, they've always believed in Adam and Eve, right? Right, but what I'm saying is that's the Old Testament. But Adam and Eve were not the first people. Who was the first people? Do you know how you know? Huh? Because Adam and Eve had two children, right? Yeah. According to that story. Yeah. Cain killed Abel, right? Yeah. And what happened to him? I'm not too sure what happened. He was banished. So, and he was afraid that people yeah. were going to kill him. So who was the first people before Adam and Eve? This is what I'm saying. Depends on how far back you're going. Right? Before, so, just before so, Adam so and Eve. We already covered it in the beginning. Remember, Islam is 114. Uh, 40, no, yeah. 1400 yeah. years. The Torah is 4000. 4, yeah. But before that, we already said there were people living on the planet Earth. What's the fact? Even in you know ancient that? Egypt. How do you know that? Because no, they, the yeah. they found them. Like yeah. they dig up. In ancient Egypt, yeah. they've dug up and found like Osiris. They find mummies, they take them so out. What, before the, and before, that's way before the Bible and the Quran. Before, are, they, are you saying before they all found of Adam and Eve? That's what I'm saying. What, that's what I'm saying. You've been led to think mm. Adam and Eve are the first people. Yeah, but so what? Because it's written in the book. Yeah. But, but I'm saying the books that you're going to, mm. life predates that. Mm. Cultures and people existed yeah. before those books. So, for so example, that couldn't be, okay, it couldn't so, be Adam and Eve the first people if people existed way Okay, so I know what you're trying to say. So, come about. I know what you're trying to say. So, before, I think Hinduism is a... Day even before that. Before, like, it's yeah. the oldest, oldest religion. And then I think only... No, the, Hindu I, is the second. Second, who's the yeah. first oldest religion? The African. African, okay. So, yeah. it goes back to that. And then I think Adam and Eve come into the whole... When did it come into? Did they come, That's what I'm saying. Time? If you're going by the yeah. Bible and yeah. the Quran, yeah. mm. they're only going back 6,000 years yeah. old. Yeah. So, they would say that's where life started yeah. from. Yeah. But we're saying that doesn't make yeah. sense. It's a if past, if yeah. there's all these people yeah. that existed way yeah. before the Bible and yeah. the Quran... Yeah. Like we mentioned, the Dogons, yeah. the Zuaztecs, yeah. the Mayans, yeah. the Hindus, the Chinese, yeah. 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 the Egyptians, the yeah. Sumerians. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's loads of people that <coughs> were on the planet before that. But and I, the reason you know, that's mm, why I was trying to explain mm. that. When Cain, was, Cain killed Abel, he was afraid people were going to kill him because mm. he was banished to the land of Nod. Mm. So people will have to ask, well, who are these people yeah. if there's no one else on yeah. the planet? Yeah. But to answer your question, mm. our ancestors are the original people on the planet. But when you go to ancient Africa, yeah. they tell you they come from the stars. Yeah, no, Afri yeah. Africa's a big, even in religion and everything, I know Africa's the start of everything. Yeah, that's everything. what I'm saying. So those would be the original, original. people. Yeah, no, yeah. like I said, but in, with all of that, like I said, it's, and then it comes to like what you believe in and facts and stuff. And like you said, go for your facts and stuff as well. Yeah. We can go back thousands of, hundreds of millions of years. Yeah, that's, that's never, what we do. With so you're right in terms of, I respect your opinion when you say it might not be Adam and Eve, but no. But you see that again. I know it's your first time having my conversation. We don't. When you say opinion, it's not my opinion. Okay, your fact, of, and it's not me making it no, up. No, no, that's the, the scientific myself. world. Yeah, yeah I correct yeah. myself. So I correct myself. So you said because there you said there's people before Adam and Eve. Like yeah. From you're, you're going by with your with your facts. With, with the facts, I've been for what you're telling me, because yeah. I'm not. I'm going yeah, by yeah, you face have to value. Go I'm going by face value. Yeah. So before my thing is so before that, would everyone so who would have created the original number one and two? But that's what I'm saying. You're, assume, some... you're assuming there's original number one and two. So how would we come because, up? Because because of what the Bible and the Quran has taught. Okay, but it so doesn't work. How would did we? How did two? So a man and a woman, right? I yeah. a bit like a family comes. A man and a woman get together and it goes, yeah. goes, goes like yeah. this. Mm. So who? Uh, right. th there has to be an right. original. I hear two. that, and I'm saying to you, would you accept that there was a time where there was no humans on the planet? Uh, yeah, possibly. Right. Yeah. So there was life forms on the planet before yeah. humans. Or humanoids yeah but you, a lot of humans only think about themselves and the planet but the planet itself yeah. evolves from where what do you mean 
the universe. Yeah, the universe. Yeah, yeah. because the you, the planets are in the solar system. Yeah, and the solar system you have like galaxies. Yeah, yeah. that that all right. evolved. So what I'm trying to say is your beginning mm. or what people are trying to say the beginning starts with this book where there's a god no, no. and that. Forget right. about the books. Right. If you went back, mm. you'll get back to ancient Africa. Yeah. Okay. And Africa. the people yeah. would be known as the Patai. Okay. So there'll be Patai. Would it take one, two Patais, right? Basically. Yeah. There'll be a male and female. Yeah, male yeah. and female. So who created that male and female? Their their parents. Who's their parents? How far do we go? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, I'm it keeps cautious. going back. Okay, I'm very that's cautious. why. Yeah. You know what I just did? Yeah. That's why I took it to before there were yeah, yeah. humans on yeah. the planet. But that's what because I'm trying to say. Who people are only thinking about the humans. Yeah. Now the humans didn't evolve from this planet. Yeah. They came from outside of the planet. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they say, and even Islam says, God is in where in heaven. Yeah. So heaven and and earth are two, two diff- different two places. Different things, yeah. So life started in heaven. Heaven, yeah. And then came to the yeah, planet. Yeah. But that's. That's what I'm proud. That's the point I'm trying to get at. Even however back we go. Yeah, but this it, heaven is not what you think it is, yeah. as in the Bible and that, because you're dealing with extraterrestrials. Yeah. Beings that evolve from different. Yeah. Like origins, different yeah. planets, different yeah. galaxies. But and this is where people that are limited by religion. Yeah. They would not try and go to, but yet in the Bible, in the Quran, it yeah. talks about these people and these other places. Yeah. Like Orion. Yeah. Like you said. From yeah. It's yeah. in the but it's actually in the yeah. Quran as I mean, well. It's a it's a never ending like, like Ilion, but... Ilion. Have you heard of Ilion? No, what's Ilion? Ilion is in the Quran, and that's the place where our master teacher comes from, okay. which is a different, complete different galaxy. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Unless you start yeah. to study galaxies, yeah, it's a whole different. It widens your mind yeah. up because no, yeah. you start to look at okay, what yeah. is Ilion? Yeah. What yeah. is Pleiades? Yeah. What is Octorus? Yeah. What no. you know all these other things? What yeah. is Orion? Yeah. Yeah. And then you start to go, oh, this is what the Quran's yeah. calling. Yeah. The, yeah. the many heavens. Yeah, no, that's it. And then you have to start, like, oh, so there's many heavens. Yeah. But they say in the Quran, the seven heavens, or yeah, there's different levels. Yeah, but seven. it's understanding it yeah. when it's translated yeah. into the Quran. No, 100% yeah. I agree with you. But, but I, know, I know that, um, you know, this is our first discussion. Yeah, it's been, but I'm going to have to quite, yeah, quite, quite a few. Yeah. yeah, we might have a few more. It's yeah. been interesting. No, um, interesting. Like I said, I want to do more. Like research the same with yourself. It's good to understand each other. Yeah. Um, but I think we covered the basis. Yeah. Aspect. Uh, and we say just study, research. That's what we and say. It, yeah. And it will open up your mind. And that's what we'll that's what we about. say. Yeah. yeah. Most importantly, you have to do what's what's right for you. Yeah. And what work, most of what I say is like what works for you. Mm. So if, if whatever religion or culture, if it works for you, it works for you. Yeah. That that's all that matters. Yeah. But, that's it. Um. Yeah. The, the the difference is like. How far do you want to take it? Yeah. Because it's like there are levels of no, knowledge. No, I agree. Yeah. Levels of yeah. knowing and like, you know, yeah. you, I mean, you, you can have... just stay in belief. Yeah. Some people just want to stay in their belief. They do the same thing that has been done for thousands of years. Yeah. And they never really move or just, change yeah. from that. So That's... they're just stuck. Again, go back to yeah. clean heart, live how you need to, how you believe is right it's important to say uh, uh, well you, you can believe something and be 100 percent wrong though. yes you yeah. can but it's that's down to you that's it's, your... it's better to know that's what we're yeah yeah because um, people will say what you don't know won't hurt you right? yeah but then you get these all sorts of people you know what you say people do things bad things they don't want to go think you let people do what they got to do and you do what you got to do and you got yeah uh, and the thing is this bad and good this is what i'm saying like someone can say what they're doing mm. is good but to um, someone else. Someone else might be wrong, yeah. Completely but that's that's bad. but if you keep yourself yeah. to yourself, keep yourself real, that's all that matters. Yeah. But yeah, we'll um Yeah, we 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 we'll wrap it up there <laughs> yeah, for today. But <laughs> yeah, it was a good conversation. Yeah, good Glad job. that you yeah, came, you too, man. came through. Definitely say thank no you worries. All right. Yeah. Next time. Rahul Bat or greetings. I'm Saken from Ask Us Anything, where we like to have great conversations, dialogue and reason. Um, you know, each one teach one. So if you're someone who would like to come and have these conversations, um, send us a video asking three questions so we can get a feel for what, um, you know, what you want to talk about. And, you know, we're in Croydon, Nashat, 101 Church Street. Um, and we've had great conversations with different people discussing all kinds of topics. And we'll be really, you know, looking forward to speaking to anyone who wants to come and have a one to one um, and have a yeah and have a conversation about anything. So, yes, if you would like to do that, the link is below. Send us a video 
um, with yourself asking me or us three questions and then we will get back in touch.